Hey, Life Church, I wanted to take a minute just to update you on some things. I know so many of you, just like myself, have been following the events that are happening, not just here in our country, but around the world. And at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, our churches are making a really big difference and sort of rising to the occasion. How can we bring those stories to the forefront? So I texted several of our campus locations to see if we could jump on a video call. They said yes. So I ran up here to the offices. Literally, there's no one here right now, but I wanted us to jump on the call to help show you how your church is making such a big difference in a time when our communities need it most. Hey, I appreciate all of you making it happen and working through technology and sort of these weird constraints, but to bring an update of what's going on around our church, I'm excited to talk to all of you. But first, let's have a chance to talk to Pastor Aaron Crane at Life Church Edmond. And I just wanted to get you on the line because I know Life Church Edmond has been doing a fantastic job. What is going on? What are you guys up to? It's been a really interesting time where even though we can't be at church, we are still really passionate about being the church. We've been trying to work with our local missions partners right here in our community to meet some very tangible needs. So in fact, yesterday we got to do everything from helping them with their urban farming situation. They're, they're working to produce some fresh food for the people in their community where it's just not as easily accessible, especially in this time. And then a small group of us actually got to put together some grocery bags, toiletry bags, and take those to some senior citizens who live in the area. We got to go to their front porch, drop off the bags, pray with them through the door. Um, different, of course, than we're used to, but we see God moving in a really special way in this time. And so there's no doubt that there's lots of great things happening, even in the time of uncertainty, like you said. Awesome, we'll keep it up. Let us know how what we can do to help you too. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, see ya. Now we're gonna drive up I-35 from the Oklahoma City area up to Kansas City where Danny Duran is there from Life Church Overland Park. Danny, how are you doing? Doing fantastic. How are you, Jonathan? I'm great, because I get the chance to talk to you, man. It's been a while. Hey, I'd love for you to just kind of update us on what's going on there at Life Church Overland Park. We locally connected with a local mission partner called Freedom Fire. Bruce McGregor, who is actually their director, has kind of just been heading up, um, just servicing the heart of Kansas City, downtown Kansas City. And and so we partnered with them, asked our tenders to bring a simple supplies, peanut butter, toothpaste, bread, toilet paper. And we just saw an outpouring of people come and dropping them off. So much so that we had almost 90 packages for 90 families that will be delivered. Even though there's not regular attenders at a location, we are the church and we remain open. And it's great that together, even though we're limited, we're still connecting and still making sure that we have community. You guys are taking what is a lot of constraints and like you said, turning it into incredible opportunities. I know you guys are working in a lot of different ways, sort of around the clock at times, but I appreciate you taking time to chat with us. Thank you, thank you for having us. Yeah, you got it, we'll catch up soon. All right, see you later. All right, so jumping from the Kansas City area to Life Church Rio Rancho in New Mexico, Pastor Dan Burge is with us. Dan, how are you doing? Yeah, we're doing great. I've heard some pretty incredible things that you guys have been doing with your local school districts, local mission partners, and obviously those that are within your church. Yeah, so we've been able to partner with our Rio Rancho School District, and they've set up a hotline for people who are needing uh, extra care during this time. Through that hotline, we've been able to respond to just over 50 families um, that are in need of food and supplies during this time. And then we've also been able to respond to needs within our local partner where they help service a senior center with food. So we've been able to also serve uh, 50 families. It helps limit their exposure of having to come out into those communal areas and limit the exposure that they have with people. It's pretty great to hear how you guys are making such a big difference really in such a short amount of time. I know that's happened just in a matter of days. We were talking earlier and there was one cool story that you started to share that I just wanted to hear a little bit more about. Yeah, I'd say that's a story of Tamara. You see, Tamara is a respiratory therapist in our community, but she has a newborn baby as well. And so because of her job, uh, they've limited her how much she can go out into the community so that she can be healthy for work. And so she reached out and what she needed was a special type of formula for her baby. And uh, when we were able to respond to it, we found the last two cases of that formula. We were able to get it, go to Tamara's house, and when we gave it to her, she had just made the very last bottle that she had for her baby. And at that moment, she didn't sure what was gonna happen or how she was gonna feed her baby when we showed up. It continued to give her hope. You guys are definitely at the right place at the right time. And we're just appreciative of how you guys are responding it's really in a time that's unknown for everybody. You guys are stepping up and just saying, sure, we'll make it happen. So appreciate all that you guys are doing, Dan. 
Awesome. Thanks so much. Yep. See ya. Well, hey, now I want to jump over to one of our incredible partners in the Oklahoma City area from WizKids. I got Brittany with us. Brittany, how you doing? Good. How are you? Doing very well. I know that you guys do such an incredible job with one-on-one literacy mentoring and obviously through a faith-based lens, but you guys have had a, sort of had to make a pivot here recently. Can you just sort of bring us up to speed on what's going on? So like you said, we're a literacy program that brings a faith element to these kiddos. We have 36 sites across the city with 850 kiddos that we're serving. We had to flip a switch real quick to figure out how we could provide some relief to our WIS kids. And with schools not being in session at the very beginning, there was a huge question of what will that look like for our kids? And one of the big pieces of that is we partnered with Feed the Children and they called us and said, hey, we have three pallets of food. How can we get them to you? And we said, yes, please, because we want to be able to provide that relief. The other piece that is really important to us is to us, having a book at home is a luxury um, that we take for granted. But often our whiz kids don't have access to a ton of books at home. So the other thing we've been doing is asking for donations um, from our community in order to label those books and get them into the hands of our kids during this time. So Brittany, tell me a little bit about what that partnership between Life Church and Wiz Kids looks like right now. As far as the food goes, you know, they called us. There's three pallets of food, and of course, we want to rush over there and get them. I have a team of five very strong women, but we needed some manpower and we needed some trucks. And so within a matter of minutes, we reached out to our Life Church partners. And I am not even kidding with how quick that turnaround was. It was just so unique to be a part of a church that is able to jump when we ask. The other piece where we've seen Life Church really jump in is with this push of requesting books for donation. We have 850 kids and we would really like to see five on-level books put into each of their hands. We have put out their request in Life Churches yet again, jumping right on board. Those books book donations have been coming in and it has just been such a beautiful thing to be a part of. I know it's a lot of things going on, a lot of pivoting, a lot of unknowns. It almost changes hour to hour, but you guys are among the best of the best and we really appreciate all you're doing for your community. Awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks, Brittany. I want to take a moment now to jump over to our pastor at Church Online. Pastor Alan George is with us. I, I hear like work is pretty slow for you right now. Uh, not quite. It, it, it's, it's pretty fun right now. It's cool. I know that this is really unprecedented times for everybody, but no one could have foreseen even what was happening at Church Online. I'd love for you to just sort of update us on what you and your team are going through. As we look back, we can see how he has strategically positioned our church for such a time as this. And so we're seeing people come to our services online. We're seeing more prayer requests. We're seeing more people send us emails on social media. It is blowing up. We're also seeing people say, hey, how can I help? And people are stepping into what God's calling them to do. So it's incredible seeing the body of Christ, the church, rise up in this moment. So that's a good point. I know there might be some people that are watching this even that are wondering like, man, that'd be really cool to help out our church online. What are sort of the things that they could do to help sort of meet the needs that you guys are seeing? If you're attending one of our physical locations, when you walk in, you've got an amazing team. We call it the host team, greeting you, welcoming you. Well, we have that same host team online. There is a live chat happening. So you can welcome people, pray with people, connect with people. I heard someone say this, we can still be high touch with no touch. Um, just just be, <laughs> good. be safe, but we're online connecting, talking to people, having conversations just like this. I hear you have one or two services throughout the week. Is that right? We have a ton of services. We've got services <laughs> every single day and multiple times during the day. And what's so cool is our worship team is coming together and getting creative and we're filming yeah. content every single week. And you better believe it. Pastor Craig is live and he is just, on fire, get everybody you know, no matter where they live in the world, they can attend a service with you. Well, Alan, I appreciate you taking some time. I imagine I'm cutting into probably some of your sleep time because you guys are working around the clock. Thanks to all of you. It's amazing to see God at work through our one church in multiple locations, even reaching around the world. You guys are doing amazing. And as we always end it, we'll say it together. Whoever finds God, finds life. life.